here, Jean Trulove from Trulove Quilts for You. Hope you're having a, an okay morning. I haven't really started my day. It's a cold and rainy one out there. Um, but I have a little, I have some chores later to do. Um, Maxwell had gone to work with um, his dad today. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, one of the last videos I put up was um, one of, a special one for us, as you know, Maxwell had gotten baptized and um, we got so many lovely comments. I usually, I usually answer comments, as you know. Um, I was, there's, I was overwhelmed. There's about a hundred uh, lovely comments about Maxwell. Congratulations. <laughs> Brought some of you to tears. Um, it was a very, very moving day, no matter what religion you are, um, when something that when something that um, close and dear to your heart, it, it touches people and, I, and we appreciate it. And I said to Maxwell, um, I said, there's so many lovely comments that I would like you to do a video and thank everybody personally. And he's like, oh, okay, I will, but he's been busy. Um, so you must accept his thanks. He will be in another video soon. Um, and I, I didn't answer all of the comments as I usually do, because I would just be saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I, I, I read them all, absolutely read every one of them. Um, and your your praise for our family. Somebody said, I don't know how you raised all of those lovely children. <laughs> they weren't lovely all the time. <laughs> Some of them were quite horrible. <laughs> but I always say at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, they, it all turned out okay. Um, and we appreciate all of your love. Thank you so very much for sharing in our I special day. I have three of them here, oh, three more quilts that people have sent in for the True Love Challenge. Um, and I'm going to show you the fabrics next. So again, if you're new here, the True Love Quilting Challenge I did about six months ago. Um, it, the deadline is passed. It was March the 15th. But what I had done, my friend Jen and I, or Jen had come up with the idea of challenging um, you quilters and you followers out there uh, to make a quilt using my fabrics that I've chosen. Now, quite a lot, a lot of you who have watched couldn't find the exact fabrics, and there's some here that couldn't find the exact fabrics. These were the six fabrics that I chose. If you found them, awesome. But if not, then we can get the general idea. I had chosen a red paisley, a stripe like an all-over rainbow batik, a blue focal fabric, little white background it could have been dots but these are little rainbow hearts and a red and white dot again a lot of you couldn't find these exact fabrics uh, back then because they were sold out or uh, you know your local place didn't have them um, so that is my true love challenge that I'm going to be doing um, I am going to be working on my little um, layer cake quilt that I had made. I'm just going to be putting the border on. I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting, I thought, and then I thought, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to make that interesting. I want to, I want to finish it. Um, it's just a, a little quilt that I had made. Uh, there's, I think, two videos, how I cut the, the layer cake, the 10 inch squares, and made this little scrappy looking quilt. I'm just going to be putting an inner border and an outer border. I thought, maybe I'll do an interesting border. And I thought, I'm not interested. <laughs> so anyway, um, the True Love Challenge. I have a few more. Uh, some lovely stories here. Oh, again, the stories that are coming. Boy, oh boy, I wanted to acknowledge Terry. Terry, um, I, th you were in the last video that I made. Um, you have overcome, you know who you are, Terry. You had overcome so much. Um, your story was so touching and so poignant. I didn't share the entire story, um, but it was one rather disaster after another, after another, after another. And us having our own little disaster. If, if, again, if you're new here, we had lost our home in a tornado and floods uh, six months ago. And we're living now in temporary accommodation. Oh, for those of you who are, are, are wondering, our son, who owned the home that was just that was ruined, um, is working with the insurance company, trying to work with the insurance company, doing what they want, and it's a it's been such a hassle. Um, as you know, the home was going to be lifted. That is earmarked for April, I believe, um, but there he, he has to jump through hoops to get a little bit of money here and a little bit of money there and he needs a lot of money to raise the home. Anyway, it's been a it's been a real millstone around their neck. 
um, we are m most probably 99% sure we're not going back to that home. And so our housing situation remains up in the air. Um, we are here. We have two rooms and a little kitchen and, a, and a, a, a bathroom. And we're very, very, very grateful to have that. Very, very grateful. The housing market in our area has like the vehicle, the car situation, the truck, used trucks, new vehicles, has gone with inflation, stupid, ridiculous. Um, but I really say, I was thinking about Terry, she was saying she she's moving forward, and that's what we're doing. We're moving forward. Um, we are so very grateful and so very blessed to have what we have when other people around the world are struggling um, just to have a roof over their head. So our priorities have shifted perhaps to be just grateful for what we have. This is not ideal, but boy oh boy, it's awesome. It's really fantastic. I really thank our, our sons and all of our children um, for looking out for us and trying to make things possible. Um, so I will keep you apprised of that situation, but for now, we're very happy to be here. I really mean that. And Terry, Again, I was reading your letter. Our hearts go out to you. And I do hope you're on a, a forward motion to a happier future. Um, okay, so let me get to my first true love challenge. This is from Victoria. Victoria, you know who you are. Um, her little story. The first picture I used are the fabrics. She got some fabrics, da 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 da. Um, I made all of the blocks using the Mary's Triangle block. I don't know what that is. It looks like a, it looks like, uh, oh, that's my computer going up. It looks just like flying geese, but maybe you have a, um, a special ruler. I don't know. I love this block because it's so versatile depending on how you set the units together. The size is 33 by 43. Sorry, 33 by 43 and a half. This is the first time I tried sewing the binding on the front and turning it over and finishing it by machine. That's hard. That's hard because when you turn it to the back, sew it on the front, you might not catch it on the back. So if you did well, well awesome. I usually hand finish the binding. I've been quilting for about eight years. This will probably go to a new grandchild. We have three, three new grandchildren. I've only so far made one, one baby quilt for the little girl, for Stella. I, I gotta get on the ball about that. A little bit, bit about me. I've been, as of April 7th, married 49 years. We've raised six children and currently have 17 grandchildren. I have a great granddaughter. I've been one of Jehovah's Witnesses for even longer. Our ratio of boys to girls is the opposite of yours with five daughters and one son. I enjoyed having a large family. I really like watching your videos and seeing your friendship with Jen. Oh, thank you so much, Victoria. I love my friendship with Jen. Oh, Jen's going to be here, uh, not this week, but next week sometime. So maybe she'll share in a few of the True Love Quilting Challenge quilts also um, with me when she comes. So, Victoria, your quilt is just delightful. Really a happy quilt. And um, here is Victoria's quote, folks. The next one is from Rosetta, Morgan and Chloe, and the, it's interesting. I love the idea of a challenge quilt, so I sent out to order the fabrics from the website you chose. I wasn't able to get your exact color, so I chose similar to yours in blue, but I only got four. I was able to finish out with the fabrics I had in my stash, but after two, oh, that was another thing. I, my, the challenge was to use, sorry, the challenge was to use at least five of the fa challenge fabrics and then any other f ones from your stash. You just, I just had to identify what you deemed as the challenge fabrics. Um, after two weeks, I couldn't come up with an idea. So I asked my twin granddaughters for help. We have twin granddaughters too. And they both jumped in with yes. Isn't that nice? The new generation of thinkers and, and quilters. Michelle had a couple of ideas, but we never pursued them since she was to have a baby in December and things got a little bit hectic for her. But her thought was there. Morgan came up with a great idea. We were in the process of putting it together and had a few challenges, but we overcame them. 
At the time, to start putting the middle block in, I had an idea. One of my other granddaughters, Chloe's pictures, was hanging in my scrapbook room. She was six at the time she drew it, and I was thinking, how about putting the drawing of the, her girl in the middle of my quilt? So I set out to do just that, but with a few suggestions from this and that one, it kind of resembles her pictures, not exact, but it gave us the idea. When I, after, after I finished, I was happy with the end results. A picture of the drawing is included. It's so, so sweet. So thanks for your challenge, my granddaughters, for their help. Morgan and I had fun doing this project. That was from Rosetta, Morgan, and Chloe. This was a collaboration of <laughs> an absolutely sweet, sweet, personalized, lovely quilt. Rosetta, you did so well. And here, folks, is Rosetta's delightful quilt. Rosetta, thank you so very much. You really did rise to the challenge and make a delightful, wonderful quilt. My next quilt is from Vivian. You know who you are, Vivian. Um, hello, Jean. I hope you're keeping well. Yep, we are actually. We're, we're very healthy. Here are some photos of my finished quilt. I've included the challenge fabrics. Two of them were exactly the same as yours. The others were similar. I use them all plus the black. It measures 35 by 43. This was for a, this quilt challenge was for a small quilt. And again, quite a lot of you found that difficult. I did. I found that difficult to make just a small little quilt. Um, I found this quite challenging as it's the first quilt I have completed. Oh, wow. I started your Dear Jean quilt last May, which you showed my work in progress. I'm looking forward to finishing that one next. I have to go back and see which Dear Jean quilt Vivian I, I actually showed it. Oh, good. That's awesome. I bought a sewing machine in January that did decorative stitches as I've admired your blanket stitch applique. I love blanket stitch. <laughs> I love blanket stitch. I wanted to do an applique quilt to try the stitches out. This quilt is so cool. I chose to do the squirrels first as they are our two Jack Russell's favorite animals to watch and wolf at in the garden. Keeping to a woodland theme, I thought an owl would be fun to do next. We are lucky to see them in the fields around us and hear them regularly too. Wow, squirrels and owls. How cool is that? I struggled to know how to quilt as I was only going to go around the shapes, but it didn't look consistent enough. Consistent quilting. So I tried free motion quilting in the gaps after doing that. It felt like a real quilt. I'm sure it was a real quilt before your free motion quilting, but good for you. Awesome. Thank you, Jean, for your continued teaching and chatting. That's what I do best. Best wishes, Vivian. Vivian, your quilt is so cool. I, I just love this. I would actually love to hang this on my wall. This is the coolest, loveliest little quilt. Using, and I can see your um, challenge fabrics. Just so awesome. So everybody, here is Vivian's quilt.
super Vivian. So thank you so very much, folks. I just wanted to let you know, I have also received from a, a month or two back pictures of just projects that you guys have done. I haven't forgotten you because by the time I, I download them into my computer and then print out your emails to keep the story straight. I, I haven't forgotten you. And again, um, I have a several more True Love Challenge quilt photographs that I just think it was awesome. People are saying, are you going to do this again? Ooh, 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 do another one. <laughs> I don't know. This was hard work. But it was so, it was lovely seeing everybody's glorious creations. Jen is coming. Oh, maybe Jen will have another idea. Oh, my word. I taught Jen how to quilt about four years ago. And now she, she's coming up with all these things. I should never have taught her how to quilt. <laughs> she's my dearest, dearest friend. She's just lovely. Um, so she will be here. Maxwell will be here to thank you all personally one of these, one of these days. Um, Ian is ch trucking along as usual. Um, we're trying to keep busy here and um, focus on a very bright future. We, we have a very bright future. Um, the world is in a real state, but um, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. I'm going to finish my quilt. I was going to do something clever. Then I thought, nah, I'm not that clever. <laughs> I'm just going to put the borders on it. I'll show you guys. But this is for beginner channel anyway, right? <laughs> I'm like reduced to I'm like reduced to cutting squares out. But it's all good. It's all good. So thank you for the diversion of my True Love Challenge. It's been wonderful sharing all of the beautiful quilts with my YouTube friends out there in YouTube land. Thank you so very much. Have a lovely day. Keep safe, everybody. And as usual, love from the true loves. Bye.